Next to gemstones, or maybe some very rare coins, the peppermint angelfish might be one of the smallest things in the world that is worth so much. The peppermint angelfish is renowned for it, its rarity and most importantly its beauty. It really does look like a, a peppermint, red and white bands, a beautiful, beautiful fish, bright, bright red. It grows about seven centimeters in size, which is only two and a half inches. But despite that, I've received telephone calls internationally offering me the equivalent of $30,000. Personally, I think that's obscene. And I also think it's, it's crazy, it's kind of an addiction. It's like somebody buying a Picasso or a Renoir or something and keeping it in their home where only they can see it. I think that's a real tragedy and I extend that idea to the rare fish species as well. It gives people a sense of wonderment that something unique is visible for them and I hope it gives them a greater appreciation and joy of what's out there in the living world. Dr. Andrew Rossiter is the executive director of the Waikiki Aquarium in Hawaii, and he's happy to take in the new little fish, which is actually a bit of a rescue. It's the only one on display in any aquarium, public aquarium in the world. I'd like to emphasize that we didn't go out specifically seeking to get a peppermint angelfish. It was collected on a scientific expedition run by the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., and the objective was to collect fish for scientific research in the museum, i.e. dead fish. And um, thankfully they collected this one, brought it back alive, and through the gracious offices of the Smithsonian, they've loaned it to us permanently until its demise. We know so little about these rare species that it gives our staff a wonderful opportunity to do research on them, find out what they feed on, what their habits are, etc., and contribute to research knowledge in that way. So it's a win-win situation for all concerned, especially the peppermint angelfish. <laughs> International collectors are interested in what might be perceived as a rare fish. And the peppermint angelfish is rare to us now because it lives in a very deep and remote location. Richard Pyle is the scientist that collected the peppermint angelfish, and he is a pioneer in deep water ocean study. He and his colleagues use special diving gear called rebreathers. They are complex computerized systems of carbon dioxide filtration and gas mixtures to combat the bends. They allow the diver to reach depths of three to 400 feet. Very few people can do this correctly. Richard and his crew are absolutely world-class and it's, it's a privilege to work with them. The peppermint's new housemate is also a rarity. In um, Gallery 4, we've got a species called the Abbe's Angelfish, and that's named after Dr. Abe, who's a, a friend of mine. He's the director of the Fukushima Aquarium in Japan, which bore the brunt of the tsunami last year. So their aquarium is now being rebuilt and renovated. And again, that fish was new to science. It was only discovered about six years ago. Richard Pyle went down there and dived again to 300, 400 feet, caught one, brought one back alive, and we have it on display where it's been now for four years. There are about six fishes in that exhibit, but the two to look at will be Abbey's angelfish and the peppermint angelfish. And, uh, Two unique fishes found nowhere else in the world and no pressure on our staff. <laughs> After a month of quarantine, temperature recalibration, precautionary antibiotics, and a lot of worrying by Dr. Rossiter and his staff, the little fish on display today is just perfect. Every exhibit at the Waikiki Aquarium has only natural or live objects in it. There's no plastic corals, there's no mermaids, there's no sunken treasure chests. Uh, what we try to achieve here is a realistic, ecological facsimile of what you would see were you diving in the wild. We're renowned throughout the aquarium world internationally for the quality of our exhibits. So I always pitch this place as quality over quantity. For something of this rarity and such a high profile fish within the marine fish community to come here, it's really, really exciting and it, it again highlights what wonderful diversity there is in the, in the world. It highlights how little we know of what's out there, and it's another first and unique thing for the aquarium. I th respectfully say it could not find a better home outside its natural habitat.